and it might sting a little bit, but if you can, open up your phone right now, go to the time usage on your phone, and go see how much time you're spending on every app on your phone. After working with over 450 clients over the last five years, one of the biggest challenges I find people are faced with is time. Time to work out, time to get activity, time to make their food, time to track their food, time to do all of these things that matter when trying to lose body fat and or build muscle. So today I'm gonna to cover how to save time doing these things, how to get really good at them, and how to make it your strength and how you manage your time and how you need very little time to actually see results. So let's dive right into today and I hope you find a ton of value in today's video. Now, if you can take a second to like this and subscribe because I'm gonna be bringing you guys a ton of amazing content around building muscle, losing body fat, and most importantly, keeping that body fat off for life. So when it comes to saving time, one of the biggest challenges I tend to hear is that people don't have time to work out. When it comes to working out, a lot of people think you have to go to the gym, number one, and number two, people assume you have to work out for hours on end and you have to be there almost every single day. Well, this couldn't be further from the truth. When it comes to working out, it doesn't really take that much time as long as you know what you're doing and you're doing the right things instead of a bunch of the wrong things. Now, one of the first things that most people do is they think they have to go do a ton of cardio. Cardio is not the answer to your fat loss results. I'm gonna be making another video on why cardio is not the answer to your fat loss, but in this video, we're focused on time. So if you wanna be most efficient with your time, you need to do the least amount of work to elicit the most change. And currently, if you're in a place where you're not doing much at all, anything is better than nothing. I have some busy parents who have a hard time making it to the gym. So one of the best and most effective things that we've done is we've acquired either bands, weights, or even just body weight movements. And how we've incorporated this into their weekly life is we have them do either 10 to 15 minute workouts on a daily basis. Now these workouts are not crazy cardio style uh, hit or P90X style workouts. What you are doing or these people are doing is focused around strength training, getting stronger. So let's just say you're doing a body weight squat. If you can only do 10 right now, the goal would be to add two to three reps every week to help you get stronger. Another example of this would be being able to do lunges in your garage or in your home. Now, what's been super helpful for my clients who have kids is what we have them do is while their kids are napping, playing, or doing anything of that nature, they can do a single exercise. So whether it's two minutes, three minutes, five minute breaks throughout the day, going into the garage or staying in the house and doing it right then and there, breaking up these routines into small little chunks throughout the day is an extremely effective way to see results. Now, this is obviously an extreme example. Another thing I like to explain to people is if you do have access to the gym, you can go to the gym. It doesn't have to be two, three, four hours at all. I have many clients that get in and out of the gym in 45 minutes on their way home from work, on their way to work, or anything of that nature. My best advice when it comes to the workouts is picking and sticking to full body workouts. Whether it's one, two, three days a week, you don't need to do more than that. Again, another thing I'm going to be breaking down in the near future here is how to build your own full body workout routine. When it comes down to the bare bone basics, all you're going to do is pick one exercise per muscle group, do two to three sets of that exercise, anywhere from six to 15 reps, depending on what your focus is. Now, if you can do that, it really does not require you to spend more than one to three hours a week in order to build muscle, to speed up your metabolism, to see amazing results. So now let's move on to nutrition. When it comes to nutrition, way too often, people think that they need to plan out every single meal and track all their food and prep all their food. There's so many different ways to go about saving time around your nutrition. The most important factors are going to come down to what is realistic for you. If picking one day a week to prep all your meals is what is gonna work for you, perfectly fine. Let's do that. 
If that doesn't work for you, if meal prepping or anything of that nature is not the thing for you, there are many other ways you can go about this. One of my favorite things to recommend to clients is every time you make dinner, just simply make more food. And so that way, whatever you have as leftovers is something you can throw in an omelet or make in the morning for breakfast. That can turn into a three to five minute meal instead of a 20 minute breakfast that you tend to make or just skipping it, which is not best for most people. On the flip side, if you are extremely busy, you don't have that time. Another thing you can do is finding a meal prep service to have the meals delivered to you so you can focus on doing other things like working your job, making more money, or hanging out with your family, spending time with the people that you love. Ultimately, there are so many ways you can save time with your nutrition as long as you plan ahead. So truly think about what you need in order to cut back on time, energy, or even the time of prepping. And one last tip I forgot to give you. If you are tracking your food, I highly recommend dedicating at least two weeks to tracking your food. If you can track your food for two weeks, most often you will include and have already tracked almost every food you already regularly consume. And because of that, you're not gonna have to add a ton of these items to the app anymore. They're already gonna be there, so it's gonna be easier to track in the future. We use MyFitnessPal for tracking. You can use whatever app you choose, but I just find that one to be the easiest to use. Next, I wanna talk about daily movement. So one thing that a lot of my clients know is that we make them get a certain amount of steps every day. When people start with us, commonly they'll be only getting three, four, five thousand 5,000 steps a day. So in order for us to get to that eight 10,000 steps a day mark, we need to consider how we can fit more steps in throughout our day. So whether it's going on a 10, 15 minute walk after every meal, whether it's taking our lunch breaks and going on walks because we already brought our food to work. Maybe every time we go to the bathroom at work, we go to the second or third floor to use a restroom. Maybe we just take the detour route instead of walking straight from behind our desk to the restroom, we're walking all the way around the office before we go into the restroom. Little hacks like this are the easiest way to implement more steps into your life. Whether you're going to the store, picking up your kids from school, do whatever you're doing, as long as you can find ways to park your car a little bit further, find ways to implement a couple more steps throughout your day, you would be amazed with how easy it is to actually get those steps in if you're intentional and mindful about doing that on a daily basis. Again, these are things that you already were going to do and now all you're doing is adding a little bit of movement in between, which is not only gonna enhance your results, but it's also gonna save you time from having to go to the gym to walk on the treadmill for an hour straight. Now, one more important thing I wanna mention is sleep. I feel like sleep is something that is extremely underrated because people don't realize that when you get good quality sleep, like eight to nine hours a night, you tend to be a lot more productive and tend to move a lot more naturally. On top of this, you're gonna be more energized and able to do more things in your day, which is gonna keep you moving forward instead of moving backwards towards your results. And lastly, I think this one is very commonly overlooked and it might sting a little bit, but if you can, open up your phone right now go to the time usage on your phone and go see how much time you're spending on every app on your phone. I guarantee you, whether it's on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, whatever it may be, you're probably spending a lot more time a week on those apps than you really think. So if you truly assess how much time you're spending on the things that truly matter, and if your fitness really matters to you, you can easily take an hour from your Instagram, an hour from your TikTok, an hour from your YouTube time, and put it towards your health. Because you are not gonna be able to spend time on those apps if you're not taking care of the most important person on this planet, which is yourself. At the end of the day, prioritize your time, find ways to get more steps in a daily basis, find ways to complement your nutrition and your workouts and do the things that truly matter to you and find ways to optimize them in your daily life. Most importantly, I hope you found value in today's video. And if you did, drop a like and subscribe because I'm going to bring a ton more content to this channel. And lastly, 
If you want to save the most amount of time possible, have us do this work for you and truly give you insight on how you can optimize your lifestyle and maximize your results in the least amount of time possible so you can get rid of the guesswork and actually figure out exactly what you need to do, have the plan, have the structure and the accountability to get there, go ahead. Check the link below in the description to book a call with me. We can get on a 15, 20 minute discovery call where we can get to the root cause of this issue, figure out a game plan and work together to help you get there. I look forward to hearing from you. Hope you have a great rest of your day and I look forward to bringing you more content. Peace.